Pretty soon, the only green dinosaur skeleton in the world is going to be on display at the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles. Reporter Danya Backus gives us an inside look at how the dinosaur fossils were found and recreated. When paleontologists set out to find Jurassic fossils in the Badlands of Utah back in 2007, they weren't sure what to expect. But buried in what was a riverbed 150 million years ago, was something so rare. It was really exciting because we didn't know what we had. It kept the team from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County's Dinosaur Institute coming back for more than a decade. The careful pounding of rock unveiled fossils of a green-hued Jurassic giant, scientists named Natalie, a diplodocus-like dinosaur that got its color from minerals found in the riverbed. Paleontological imaging specialist Stephanie Abramowitz created visual documents and records of every bone. I'm taking those bits and pieces and scaling them into an illustration that reconstructs her skeleton as it would have been in life and then using that skeleton. Her fleshed out illustrations help to reconstruct Natalie's nearly five ton composite skeleton. National Geographic provides an inside look at the excavation and reassembly in its September 2024 issue. We're getting a behind the scenes look at the more than 75 foot long necked green dinosaur Natalie before it's open to the public. Natalie spelled with a G because of the stinging gnats that pestered excavators. From sunrise to sundown, these little biting gnats would attack us. We'd get like a little red dot on our skin and it would lump up instantly the next day. Paleontological preparator Erica Durazo also exhumed the fossils and worked in the museum's lab to expose the fine details of the bones. Natalie is in the process of being mounted for display in the museum. What is it like for you to walk in here and now see Natalie on display? Well, it's truly an amazing experience. I feel very much connected to it, so it feels like the end of an era. An era that leaves a tangible piece of the Jurassic period for all to see. Danya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles.